Hi everyone, this is Gary the Renegade Dream Builder and today we're going to share with you how to make kombucha. It's a very simple drink to make. It costs like $4 for a small bottle of kombucha. I'm going to show you how to make it for around a nickel, maybe 10 cents a bottle, same size bottle. And it's just as good, if not better, than what they sell in the stores. Now, kombucha is really good for hydration and your digestive system. It seems to keep everything in balance. It's one of the liquids of vitality that Dr. Kazar talks about. And I just wanted to take the time to show you how to do this. So, let's get right at it. We can talk about other things about kombucha as we're making it. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, start boiling the water. And what happens, the way I do it is I boil the water first, then I shut it off and put it in the tea bags. Today we're using uh, Irish breakfast tea. You can also use unsmoked herba mate tea. Gives a little different flavor. It's very good and it says right on it, unsmoked. So you want to make sure that you get unsmoked. And then we'll put the sugar in. And you can use white sugar, you can use basically any sugar you want to. Uh, I'm using raw cane sugar. I got this at Trader Joe's for like $3 for this bag. There's uh, 24 ounces there. So we'll wait for that to boil and then we'll put the bags in. So as you can see the water is boiling now. We'll shut it off and we'll grab our Irish breakfast tea bags. This needs to be black tea and we want to do four to six bags. So there's two, four. I always use six because I make a, uh, a bigger batch than most people do. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit more before I put the sugar in it. And I'll set it up here so I don't forget. And we'll turn the camera back on when we're ready to put the sugar in. Now as you can see this has been sitting for about say 10 minutes. It's still pretty good. So I'm going to uh, just stir it a little bit. Gonna get ready to put our sugar in here. Now it says that we're supposed to use uh, a cup to a gallon, and again, that is entirely up to you. I use about a cup cup and a half, sometimes two. That's probably enough right there. And this is a very uh, condensed mixture. And we'll end up dumping this in this big jar of water I have over here. And you notice I'm using a wooden spoon. I've been trying to find a Pyrex pot so they don't have to cook in metal. I'm not a big fan of cooking in metal. For some reason we can't seem to find any right now, but we will. Our search will not end. And we always use glass to mix our kombucha in. No plastic, no metal. Just glass. You can buy these uh, containers at uh, Walmart. The last I knew they were $9.95, I believe. They come with a glass lid. Very nice container for the money. Now I'm going to let that cool down even more before I put it in here. Even though this will have a tendency to, to cool it down a lot. I'll just let it steep for a while. And we'll be back. Okay, so we're now ready to put the tea in. Now what we're going to do is 
put some kombucha that was already made in this mix. And we have a mother in this one, so I think I'm just going to try to keep her out of the way here. Although I could just use this one. We have another mother though that I'm going to be using. And we'll put a little bit in here. Come on, baby. I really didn't want to take her out, but I might have to. Okay. And now, we're going to get out the, the mother right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands, no soap and water. I'm just going to rinse them off. They really don't mind being handled. Always treat the mother with love and care. She's giving you some incredibly good stuff. Each time that you uh, make a batch, you'll have another SCOBY or a mother come out of it. Now she may sink to the bottom, that's okay. But as it brews, it will lift itself back to the top. You hear people say that you can flavor this. Don't flavor it till after it's brewed. You want to keep it all just as natural as you can. Some people I've heard are using uh, like three or four black tea bags and maybe two peach tea bags. I've never experimented with that. I just found out about it, but I will be experimenting with it just to see what it does. But I want more Scobies before I do that because once you do a flavored, then never try to make an original with it. Now, after this brews, obviously it hasn't just yet, but take a straw. This is how you test it. This would be after like seven to ten days. You'd go down beside the scoby, put your finger over the straw and pick it up. And then you can drink the liquid that's in the straw to see if it's at the, uh, see if it's too sweet or it's just right for you to drink. So now what we're going to do is these glass tops are actually made to go on this way. But they won't fit in the oven and I keep mine in the oven with the light on and that's how I heat them. So I have to turn my lid over. I've already washed the top. And then we're going to take this and I'll show you what I do when it goes in the oven. And what I do is I just take it, set it in the oven. But you have to make sure when people come to the house that they don't uh, accidentally preheat the oven with your SCOBY in there, with your uh, kombucha. And then I cover it with a sheet. And it does just barely fit in here, but it does fit. And I turn the light on. Now the only reason I use the light in the oven is for warmth. It's winter time here in Rhode Island. So most of the house is reasonably cool compared to what this likes. It likes like 70 to 80 degrees. So I put it in the oven. During the summer I won't, but... And the reason I put the sheet around it is it actually likes the darkness. So the light is only for heat. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it very helpful in your journey to figure out how to make kombucha. This is just an awesome drink. It's very flavorful. It's incredibly good for your hydration system, the lymphatic system loves this drink and your intestinal system also. Mm -mm 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 -mm. To your health my friends. <laughs>